So I've been a little delinquent on asking you to subscribe, but really I've been delinquent on putting together my Sifu thoughts and impressions. I actually haven't even beaten the game yet, so shame on me. I'll get around to it at some point. I'll be out next week, so you'll have to wait a little bit longer, but at least I thought I could leave you all on a first look at the Sifu Redemption Edition. Now, this is very interesting to me because the game has already been out for a while. Obviously, a lot of times you get collector editions that come kind of in parallel with the game, uh, the launch typically. Sifu is digital only initially on PlayStation, later on got a boxed edition on PlayStation, and now it's slowly begun to roll out to the other platforms. And I guess of all the platforms, now they decided we will make a collector edition for the Nintendo Switch. And as far as I know, let me triple quadruple check, this is only available for Nintendo, all right? Keep that in mind. So what do you get? Well, you get the game, which includes a steel book, which I think the steel book's pretty awesome, actually. Um, this game's official mascot has always been the male character. However, you can play as a female. I actually started playing as a female, and for some unknown reason, my save file f morphed me into a dude. <laughs> so now I'm a dude. I am not going back and replaying the first three levels again. So I'm just gonna be a guy. <laughs> and hopefully, if you're into this collector edition, you are playing with the male character because that's the one you're gonna get. Uh, you could see it there predominantly displayed in the figurine, which looks really, really cool actually. Um, I always thought the styling in this game was pretty awesome. And this looks very true to the character you can play with in the game. Not thrilled about the base that says Sifu underneath. I would know who that character is. I would have much rather to see some sort of cool terrain or something other than the traditional black plastic disc. But hey, it is what it is. You're also going to get uh, three lithographs from the game. Just various artwork. Looks like the museum. Looks like a tree. And I'm not sure what that one is in the bottom left. That could be the Fight Club, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. If you know what they are, sound off in the comments below. And since I just already pressed it before, while you're down there, subscribe. Uh, we also have a Tenacity Pennant. Now that's a very famous pennant. That's how you level up in the game. It's got a really cool mechanic and a nice chime to it when you essentially resurrect. Um, I don't know if the actual uh, little circles are removable. I don't think so. <laughs> they definitely are in the game. You're also going to get a digital soundtrack and a 160 page behind the developers, I'm sorry, behind the art of Sifu, kind of a developer's diary. Now, interestingly enough about this, at least the page they have displayed, one, it's 160 pages, which is a pretty nice size. Two, uh, looks like it actually has text. A lot of times these art books are just straight up pictures. They're just images of designer art, that sort of thing. Here it looks like you may get a little bit of text, maybe a little explanation as to some of the stylings they chose or some of the character designs or whatever. A lot of the baddies you will fight are very generic, but the bosses in particular are incredibly, incredibly artistic and they all have themes and moods and that sort of thing. And that would be very interesting to see. So what's this gonna cost you? Well, if you already got Sifu, like most of us do, and you just want to get the stuff, it's gonna cost you a hundred bucks. Uh, the stuff is, as I mentioned, the lithographs, the tenacity pendant, the figurine, the behind the art uh, book, and it's intended for players who already own the game on PlayStation 5, 4, or PC. Is this not on Xbox? Hmm, okay, maybe it's not on Xbox. Uh, the redemption set does not include a copy of the game, so they're just showing some pictures of actual gameplay, which is very odd. <laughs> These are all the things you can't get if you buy the game. That's going to cost you $100. It will launch later this month on November 18, 2022. Um, I don't know if this is going to sell out, honestly, considering it's kind of like dated. You kind of get a rough idea of some of the size of the statue based on the box. Uh, it looks like the statue will be based on the, what I'm seeing in packing, probably anywhere from 9 to 10 inches tall. Um, with a uh, pretty decent depth and height to it. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm excited for that. You know, unfortunately, a lot of times these collector editions do not include 
dimension. So you kind of have to do a little bit of internet sleuthery. Uh, there are not any reviews, and I would not expect there to be. But if you don't have Sifu yet at all, and you really want the game, you want the whole ball of wax, well, here you go. You can get the Sifu Redemption Edition, which includes the game. And that will run you a whopping um, $150. Now, interestingly enough, on this photo, I don't see, oh, it does say it here. Interestingly enough, it does show this date of August 11th. Hmm. I don't think this has been out before. This is all pre-order stuff as far as I know. All the collector edition sites that I had read triggered this as something new. Now I wonder. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe it just got delayed. But uh, that that seems like a fair price, honestly, considering that the collector edition without the game is 100 and the tchotchkes are, you know, with the game is an extra 50 That does include the steelbook. That is what the game will cost you. Unfortunately, I do not see any way to get this for any other platform than the Nintendo Switch. So if you've already bought it before or you're new into the game and you want to get into it, you may want to do yourself a favor and get it on the PlayStation platform or on PC. It's going to look way better. And trust me, this game is incredibly cell, very cell shaded, very stylized. You're going to want it to look good. And it's going to run at a very nice, silky smooth frame rate over on the next-gen consoles or on PC. On the Nintendo Switch, the little bit of gameplay I saw during a Nintendo Direct definitely left a lot to be desired. It had a very, very smooth, very lame kind of presentation to it. It was like very heavy machine learning type. Lots of pop-ins, that sort of thing. But hey, you do you, fam. I just wanted to be the one to show you that this collector edition does in fact exist. So do me a favor, uh, sound off in the comments below. Let me know if this is something you are interested in. Personally, I'm very interested in this. Obviously, the non-game version edition. Um, I think the soundtrack is cool as hell. I would really be interested if the developer's diary contains some substance on the character design and some of the choices that they made including some of the really really stylized art and you know i'm a sucker for figurines like i have so many shelves and i always want more stuff and this is more stuff so very high likelihood i'm going to pull the trigger on this that's it for today's video as i mentioned i will be out all next week i did notice for whatever reason i lost four subscribers last week so why don't you be one of the four to come back that's it for today's video guys Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bon voyage. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.